Well, it was really surreal. I mean, again, I, I, I keep saying a, a lot of this stuff happened in my 50s when you least expect it, I think. Um, or you don't even really think about it anymore. Um, and for me, it was just uh, an amazing opportunity to do this film and then to be given this recognition for the film and the work in the film, it was really surreal. You know, I was telling my friend Billy Porter, who just won a Tony for Kinky Boots, and he was over here like the week before the Tonys, and I said, make sure you have something written, because you never know. And don't try to say everything because you don't have that kind of time. <laughs> but make sure whatever you write, you can get to it. <laughs> and get to it quickly because when you hear the names and you hear your name within those five, you never expect that your name will be said again. You just don't. And it, when you hear that, it's almost as if it's echoed in your head. <laughs> and I remember I wasn't wearing contacts then like I am now. And I couldn't focus because it was, uh, my, I have problems with distance. And the only person I could focus on was Jimmy Smith's. He happened to be sitting right in my view, and he was the only person that I could see, really. And I just said from that point on, I'm gonna get contacts <laughs> so that I can see things when they happen. But it really is quite extraordinary to uh, be given those honors. And, you know, I'm still just a kid from Detroit, so when I when Jesse, Jesse was my escort, I think, for the Golden Globes and for the SAG Awards. And, uh, you know, we just giggle. We just giggle because, you know, there are all these stars walking around. And, and, and here I am being nominated amongst these actors. So it, it's really, it's cool.